How do you like recording acoustic guitars with a pencil? So I'm I'm pretty purist with it. I I usually aim it at the heel of the the neck where the neck meets the body. So let's call that like twelfth fret area. Um, you know, usually not directly at the sound hole, just because you know if you've tried that, you can it it pushes too much air and it's very woofy. So um, I tend to like it. Uh, about maybe, and depending on the mic, you know, um, the, like if you're using like a very sensitive mic, like the 017, uh, I'll put that about a, f maybe a foot and a half back sometimes. Actually, there's like, there's a song on my last record I did where the la it was the last song on the record. And it was literally just that microphone for my voice, for my vocal and, and the guitar. And it was about six feet away. And I thought it was, and then again, I was doing it just to get the idea down and I heard it back, and I was like, "I'm I'm gonna keep that," and that became the track on the record. Whereas the the O the O eleven, I'll take that and put it maybe about six inches to a foot, uh, depending on how hot I'm gonna record the the preamp, and sometimes or how how loud I'm gonna strum because that can create a negative effect too if you're strumming really hard and it's too close. And so a lot of times I'll just I'll just kind of mess with that and see, and then and mess with the gain on the mic pre as well. But for the most part, I'm just pointing it right there at the, at the, at where the neck meets the body. And it tends to, tends to be a nice full, full sound. You know, some people might want to add people that get a little bit more technical. will add another microphone on, uh, at the base of the body. Uh, and that can be a nice thing too. But I, I, I just, i tend to see if it, it if it's going to work with one mic it's going to be great you know just to, for phasing and things like that it's just easier and it sounds great so i think if you'd, you'd have great results with that 